So I want to show you how the uh, Eiffel attack works. And we're looking at the direct exfiltration part of the Eiffel attack. Um, we start with uh, Thunderbird and we start off by generating a ciphertext, a PGP ciphertext. We write ourselves an email, a subject is password, and we type in some, some secret stuff. We have some password in here. Uh, we make sure that it's PGP, not S mine. And now I send it. It's in my inbox and it gets decrypted. Okay. And when we look at the source code of this email, we see here is the ciphertext. Okay, that's the PGP ciphertext. We copy this. And then we close this window. And now we open our attack uh, template. This is uh, a, a email format, uh, a MIME email with uh, various headers, and we're not interested in these headers. And we have several body parts. So first of all, there's some plain text in here just to uh, show the victim a benign message so that he doesn't get suspicious. Then here happens something that is very important. We're opening an image, and when you take a close look, the string literal opens here, and here's the URL, but it, it's never really closed. So the image tag is not closed at all. Here's the delimiter, so here comes the next body part. Now we scroll down and we see here at the very end, we close the image tag, okay, within a, a third body part. And here we have a PGP ciphertext and we're not interested in this, we just delete it because that was a previous exploit. I deleted it. And now I simply take the ciphertext that I just copied uh, from Thunderbird, right? And so here, it ends here, and it starts up here, and looks pretty good. Now we're going to send it to the victim, which is me. We just delete this email here because we don't need it anymore. And now we send the email uh, over the command line. And we see it appears in Apple Mail and it appears in Thunderbird, but this particular exploit now really only works in, in Thunderbird. Um, here we see the benign email, dear Dan, right? So that's the part that, that's the plain text part, that's the plain text email part. And here it tells me that there are, there's external content here. And we say, okay, please load this external content, okay? Now, the email looks pretty much the same, only that we get this tiny little picture down here. And when we look at this external web page, we see that uh, it just got exfiltrated, right? So by just opening an email and allowing it to exfiltrate, uh, allowing it to load uh, external images, exfiltrates the plain text. And here we see here's the password, and it's the full password that we just typed in, and here's my email footer, and so on and so on. 